Hello guys, I am your sir Ariel and for this video, we are going to discuss another application of derivative. Okay, so we have the maximum and minimum values of a function. So meron tayong tinatawag dito na second derivative test. Pero explain muna natin what is the maximum and minimum values of a function. So meron tayong graph here. We have a graph here wherein as you... This is your function y is equal to function of x. Okay? That is your function wherein this function is continuous at all values of x in its domain. Kung makikita nyo dito class, meron tayong peak. Okay? Ito yung tinatawag na maximum value of a function. Okay? So, ito yung maximum point niya. So, pag point yan class, meron tayong x and y coordinates. And then, meron din tayong minimum point. So, ito yung minimum value class. So, hanapin din natin yung value ng ating x and y. Ngayon, using second derivative, malaman natin yung x natin. Alam na natin kung yung x na ba yun ang minimum value. And at the same time, siya ba si maximum value. So, ito yung steps. Here's the steps. So, first is get the critical points okay of the um, function ano yung kukunin natin critical points class first is that a get how to get the critical points get the first derivative of the function and then b equate y prime to 0 and then solve for the values of x next Number two, um, substitute or get the f double prime x or the second derivative. Okay? And then we substitute the value of our critical points to our f double prime. And it says here class that if f double prime x is greater than zero, okay, yung x na yun class is at minimum point. And if it is greater than 0, f double prime x is greater than 0, then it is in its maximum point. Okay, let's try this example to for you to appreciate yung mga pinagsasabi kong steps. Uh, first, find the value of x for which the function y equals x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x minus 3 is a maximum or a minimum. So, una, sabi niya dito, get y prime or that class divided that is equal to f sing, um, f prime x, no? So, f prime x is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. Okay, derivative to constant is 0. The letter B, equate it to 0. So, magiging 3x squared minus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0. And then, we get the roots of this class or yun yung tinatawag na critical points. So, pwede ko munang i-multiply lahat by 3. Ay, by 1 third kung nakuma. Okay? So, that is 1 third magiging x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, we're going to get the values of x. You can use your calculator or you can use your trial and error and trial and error method. So, ibibigay nito class is we have x minus 1 times x minus 3 equals 0. So, kunin natin class x minus 1 equals 0, it will give us x equals 1. And then x minus 3 equals 0, it will give us x is equal to 3. Okay, now, um, so we have the critical points na. Okay, so ito yung graph natin. When you do it, when you do it, lagay mo dyan, critical points. So you have your 1 and 3. And then yung F double prime X mo. And then lagyan natin ng remarks. Check natin kung it is minimum or maximum. At X is equal to 1, ano ang F double prime natin? So, wala pa tayong F double prime. So, kunin natin si F double prime. We have 3x squared. Ano ang derivative ni 3x squared? 6x 
minus 12x, 12 derivative 9 is 0. So we have 6x minus 12. At x is equal to 1, okay, f double prime 1, it will give us 6 times 1 is 6 minus 12 is negative 6. So that is negative 6. And then f double prime f double prime 3 so 6 times 3 is equal to 18 minus 12 that is 6 so that is 6 and in remarks nothing class if f double prime is greater than 0 so f double prime so greater than 0 is tong 6 natin nasa minimum siya minimum point at if it is lesser than 0 nasa maximum siya okay i-check natin class kung tama ba so at point at x equal to 1, maximum daw siya yung graph natin, nasa maximum point daw siya. At x is equal to 3, nasa minimum point daw siya. Let's check class. How to check it? Itong x natin class na 1, i-substitute natin siya ngayon doon sa function ng y natin. So ang y natin is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x minus 3. At x is equal to at x is equal to 1, y is equal to, anong y natin dyan? Um, substitute nyo yung 1 sa y nyo class. Alpha x raised to 3 minus 6 alpha x squared plus 9 alpha x minus 3. Cal 1. That is 1. So at x is equal to 3, y is equal to, x cubed minus 6 plus 9 alpha x minus 3 negative 3 okay um, i-graph natin yan class so x 1 at x is equal to 1 daw class y is equal to 1 okay at x is equal to 3, 1, 3, y is equal to negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, ibig sabihin class, ito ang point natin. Ito ang graph natin. Okay? So, at x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, nasa maximum point sa class. Ito naman, that is, ang point natin is at 1, 1. At point 3 and negative 3, nasa minimum siya which is correct no so at 3 minimum siya at 1 maximum siya so ibig sabihin ito ang ay correct siya na x is equal to 1 okay yun yung critical point natin nasa maximum siya x equal to 3 minimum siya so without graphing it no just simply using the second derivative test malalaman mo na at what point kung saan siya maximum and kung saan siya minimum without graphing it na okay so that is for the second derivative test. Okay, let's have another example. Number two. Let's find wherein kung saan siya um, maximum and minimum. Given function of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 15. So, anong sabi natin? Kunin muna natin yung critical points by getting the first derivative. So, f prime x is equal to 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. Then second, next, we equate it to 0. So, 3x squared plus 6x minus 9 equals 0. And then we get all the values of our x. Pwede ko munang i-multiply ito ng 1 third. It will give us x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. So, you can use your calculator, yung quadratic, okay, or the trial and error method, and this will give us x, okay, minus 1 times um, x plus 3 equals 0. So, it will give us x equals 1 and x is equal to negative 3. So, next, Gawin natin yung second derivative test, gagamitin natin dito ha. 
So, lagay mo na yung critical points. Nahanap mo na si critical points wherein that is 1 and negative 3. And then, F double prime X and then we have your remarks. Ito lang yung kailangan natin sa second derivative test. So, alamin natin at what value of X maximum siya at what value of X minimum siya. So, F double prime X now, we have to So, 3X squared magiging 6X and then 6x is plus 6. So, f double prime, substitute mo yung critical point na 1. 6 times is 1, that is 6 plus 6, that is 12. So, f double prime is 12. f double prime negative 3, so that is 6 times negative 3. Negative 18 plus 6, that is negative 12. So, this is negative 12. Ano yung sabi natin, class? If it um if if f double prime x is greater than zero, nasa minimum siya, okay? And if it is lesser than zero, nasa maximum siya. So ano sagot dito? So at one class, minimum siya, and at x is equal to negative three, maximum siya. So let's try to check. Check ang final answer. Ito na yon sa second derivative test. Ito check lang natin siya kung Tama ba yung nakuha natin? Na minimum siya at x is equal to 1 and then maximum siya at x is equal to negative 3. By substituting lang this class to your f of x. no So, at ano ang y natin at x is equal to 1. Um, that is alpha x raised to 3 plus 3 alpha x squared minus 10. 10. Y is equal to 10. So, meron tayong um, 1 and 10. Okay? And then, ano ang Y natin at X is equal to negative 3? 42. So, we have negative 3 and 42. Kung okay, i-graph mo yan, class, at X is equal to 1, so 1 and X is equal to negative 3. 1, 2, 3, negative 3. So that is 1. So, meron tayong 10. At 1, stand daw siya, 10. Okay, so, assuming 10 na yan, class, no? 1, 10. And then, at negative 3, 42 siya. So, syempre, mas mataas. Assuming that is negative 3, 42. Okay. Okay? So, ganito yung magiging graph natin. Tama ba? Na at negative 3, o, tignan mo yung y niya is 42. So, mas mataas siya. So, maximum. At 1 class, so, 1, 10, mas mababa si y equals 10 lang siya compared sa 42. Ibig sabihin, minimum siya. So, ibig sabihin, correct talaga. Correct yung nakuha natin. Okay? Na at 1, it's minimum at negative 3, and it's maximum. And that is the uh, method of the second derivative test. Okay? So you have, I hope you have learned something from this video.